lost in the stack she must be somebody who loves books as much as I do or somebody that's just really turned around either way it's rare that I get company or any guests of any kind so please allow me with that being said please allow me to introduce myself they call me the eccentric book man because I love reading and talking about books <laughs> allow me to be your guide into the world where reality meets imagination and fantasy. Well, don't worry, you'll be just fine. As long as you remember one simple thing. It's only a story. With that being said, let's get to tonight's story. If I may suggest uh, one of my tomes from the stacks to you, one of my favorites, a book by Stephen King, the title, Christine Body by Plymouth. So I say, uh... And this book does have a movie adaptation, but we will mainly be talking about the book, and I will try to keep any spoilers to a minimum. But this is your first and only warning. If you don't, if you'd rather read the book yourself, you must you must leave now before it's too late. With that being said, let's jump right into it. The story is is about is from the point of view of Dennis Gilder and his friend Arnie Cunningham. They've been friends since they were kids and did everything together. But one day, when they're driving home from school, Arnie catches sight of a Plymouth Fury. It should be noted that Dennis in the movie drives a Dodge Charger. In the book, he drives a Plymouth Duster. And on the way home. Arnie sees, as I said, a Plymouth Fury parked in the in the driveway of an old house, and they go, and Den and Arnie pushes Dennis to go back, and he ends up purchasing from, and, he, and Arnie ends up purchasing the car from the original owner, Mr. Roland D. LeBay, a very shifty character. And then takes it home. Understandably, his parents are not pleased, but can't really stop him. As Arnie's dead set on this, Dennis even telling them that he tried to talk him out of it. And Arnie, being one of the unpopular kids, and Dennis being one of the jocks, you know. But, st but 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 Dennis, still being a friend to Arnie, still tries to warn him that he gets a bad vibe from the car, but Arnie won't listen. After a long, drug-out argument with his parents, Michael and Regina Cunningham, he takes the car to Darnell's garage to fix it up and repair it. Not long after this, they find out LeBay's, LeBay uh, passed away. And Arnie's behavior starts drastically changing. Starts becoming more like a different person. Don't we all at that age? But this is more uh but this is more of a pronounced change. The way he stop ceases to be Arnie Cunningham be, and starts uh, and starts becoming somebody else much, much older than himself. He starts dating Lee Cabot, of which Dennis had a had a had to had a major crush on, and, and Arnie's almost like rubbing it in uh, Dennis's face, even going to the point of bringing Lee to a game and flaunting, uh, sorry, and flaunting their making out in front of him, which causes him to sustain an injury that forces him to quit football. 
and even despite the, uh, Arnie's relationship with Lee, when Arnie's attack, even even despite Arnie's relationship with Lee, Dennis still comes to Arnie's uh, rescue when he's attacked by the school bullies, Buddy Repperton, Don Vandenberg, Richard Chelani, and uh, and and uh, and uh, Moochie Walsh. After the fight's all said and done, uh, Buddy Repperton gets expelled from school for carrying a switchblade onto school property and vows revenge against Arnie. A little later, Arnie gets into another fight with Buddy at Darnell's. And, uh, and, and this time, uh, beats uh, Buddy into his place, becoming Darnell's new best friend. The book alludes to Buddy being like Darnell's errand boy, driving stuff from point A to point B. But then, uh, but after the show, uh, but after the show in the garage, Arnie becomes uh, becomes Darnell's new one, number one guy. And this fight was all started because uh, Repperton. Made, you know, made some damage to Christine while uh, Arnie was repairing it. Arnie's eventually caught transporting stuff for Will Darnell and is facing uh, charges. But the charges get dropped after Will Darnell's uh, death, with Darnell's being shut down, Arnie doesn't have anywhere to put Christine. So his father, Michael, since his mother Regina doesn't want the car uh, at home, get, comes up with a solution to park Christine in an airport private parking lot. But one night at uh, Vandenberg's gas station where he works, the airport uh, parking attendant, Sandy Gulch, blurts out that, uh, that, uh, that, that Arnie's keeping his car in the airport parking lot, and Repperton uses this as a, an excuse to get to get even with Arnie for who, whom he believes got him expelled from school, you know, like the switchblade didn't do that on its own. Then they break in using uh, Bolch's help and base and, and, and destroys the car. This is different in the movie, whereas Christine's tore up in uh in, in Darnell's garage. This time it's tore up at the airport parking lot. And afterwards, Arnie proceeds to uh, to react in a similar way in the that he did in the movie, leading to his breakup with Lee Cabot. And it's also worth noting that Darnell was killed by being crushed to death inside Christine. In the book, he's killed in his home. Also. Some of the death sequences are a bit bit different, whereas in the movie, Vandenberg, Chelani, and, and Repertin are killed all together, but in the book they are actually killed somewhat separately. Vandenberg is the one run over in the street after trying to flee from the gas station where he worked when Christine pulled in one cold snowy night. And Buddy Repperton and, and, and Richie Chelani are killed in a violent uh, chase where Christine causes, causes uh, Buddy Repperton to wreck his uh, vehicle.
And this goes on every time one of the murders occurs. Arnie's is out of town. To, or Arnie Arnie goes out of town to give uh to get to, to have an alibi, and LeBay leaves Arnie's body to commit the murders. As I said, this is more of a uh, possession street of possession story, whereas in the books it's depicted. Sorry, whereas in the movie, it's depicted that Christine has an evil life of its own. Eventually, it's revealed that Roland D. LeBay took over Arnie's body. And while all this was going on, uh, uh, Dennis and Arnie, earlier in the book, go to, the, go to LeBay's grave side funeral and meet his brother, George LeBay. And George at his uh, motel uh, room before leaving town, tells Dennis a story of their uh, family history. How his brother, uh, Raleigh, was always a bit violent and aggressive, calling people derogatory names, and him even being involved in a few neighborhood accidents with a few of his school bullies, and how he says, always suspected his brother, and the weird deaths of his daughter and, and wife inside of Christine. Dennis finally puts it all together and, and, and makes a plan with Lee to destroy Christine. But, you know, but Arnie, or LeBay, or however you want to say it, finds out that the uh, Lee and Dennis are are, are are together and mistakes them for being together. At this point, they probably, uh, at this point, they were together, but they were more concerned about trying to save Arnie. Arnie peeled rubber out, out, out of the parking lot when he caught sight of Dennis climbing back into his car with Lee and, uh, and flew into a rage, almost hitting Dennis. On the way out, Dennis barely uh, missing uh, uh, Christine's front grill, and Lee being utterly terrified because the face she claimed behind the wheel, Christine's wheel was not that of Arnie Cunningham, but an old rot, but an old man's rotted, decrepit face. But is finally revealing that LeBay is taking has taken over Arnie's body, and Arnie is not uh, Arnie anymore. Whereas in this movie. It was depicted as Arnie just being under Christine's spell, wanting Lee only for her body, but using uh, Christine in every other sense of her relationship. In the end, Dennis and uh, Lee uh, concoct a plan to trap Christine inside of Darnell's garage and finish it once and for all. They suspect it because unlike the movie, the murders just happen. But in the book, every time a murder occurs, Arnie's always seen going out of town. So there's so there's no way the police can pin a murder on him. And the and the final showdown at Darnell's goes down pretty much like the movie with them crushing Christine with a bulldozer. But unlike the movie, whereas Arnie Arnie died when he flew out of the Christine's windshield. You know, the book is a bit different in the way that after they crushed Christine in the car, couldn't come after him anymore. LeBay tried a last ditch attempt, jumped back into Arnie's body, but Arnie fought him off, or tried to fight him off, and he uh, and in re and in retaliation, he caused uh, Arnie's mother to. To uh to lose control of the vehicle, killing both Arnie and his mother uh, Regina. Also, they find out earlier that night his father Michael was run over by a car. It's hinted, I think, to be Christine, but it's I don't know if it ever really says. And in the end, it is de it, it, the book is. Uh, from Dennis's point of view, he sees Arnie one last time in the hospital after everything is said and done. 
giving the impression that Arnie's free. Dennis was uh, Dennis was a, was barely awoke, but he said he's but he from his point of view he states that he saw Arnie and he and he thanked him one last time before disappearing. And this goes on to uh, and this goes on that Dennis narrates the last little bit of the book, stating that him and Lee went together for about two years before breaking up. They, Lee's married now, living in New Mexico, and Dennis is a teacher, a high school teacher, and that he still has dreams about. Uh, Christine and LeBay, but the most upsetting part is a story he read in the paper that that Sandy Gulch was ran over working in a movie theater working in a movie theater that a car came through the side of the wall of the snack bar and got him as he was opening the uh, door to the projector booth, giving the uh, giving the giving the creeping feeling that Christine is still out there, and oh yes, I'm sorry, I forgot about Moochie Welsh. His death is pretty much like out of the movie, being crushed to death by Christine. Christine is one of my favorite books by Stephen King. So it'll receive my top rating, which is five bookmarks out of five, which is my highest rating. Thank you for listening to uh, my narration. This book is one of my favorites, and I was very entertained while listening to it. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. As mu and I, well, that seems to be all the time we have for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed my reading uh, suggestions, and I hope you've enjoyed my uh, opinions on the book. As far as how to get out of here, just follow the stacks in a straight line until you reach the end of the uh, uh, until you reach the end and come to the front desk, or maybe the night librarian will come. Oh, sorry, will come to collect you. I wonder if it's one of his good nights. And ha and one more thing. Be safe driving home. You never know what kind of drivers are on the road today, especially if they're dead or not. <laughs> mm-hmm.